Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about mission tables, and we are actually joined by a special guest, which you guys might have heard of before, named Zanzerful. I got the tails to long leg. Now, before we get into the actual interview of this video, there's a few things that I want to cover, give you some background information, and just kind of explain what this video is. Now, first of all, this is not a tutorial. If you are somebody who has not seen a part of my interview series, I only have about two other interview videos, but this is not meant to, you know, teach you or guide you through how to actually level up mission tables. This is strictly just meant to kind of show you the possibilities of mission tables, give you a little a few tips or tricks along the way, and really this is just to kind of explore a new way of gold making that is a little bit non-traditional. Now, of course, we are with Zan, so this is through his experience, so everybody's experience with mission tables might look a little bit different. Now, in terms of some actual background information, like I said before, we are joined with Zanzerful. Now, he will give himself his own introduction, but he is another content creator that does WoW gold making, and just recently, he's been getting into the mission table stuff a ton. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the mission table, basically it's the same sort of thing that was introduced with garrisons, introduced with class halls, and you kind of had your mission table in BFA as well. Basically, you have these kind of AI companions, which you can send out on missions. After a few hours, you will gain some rewards, as long as the mission, you know, succeeds. Now, to give you some stats about Xan before we actually get into the interview, is that currently, and you will hear us mention this, he currently has 69 alts, no pun intended, and 45 actual set up mission tables. So right now he is using 45 mission tables every single day to make his gold. Now on average, there's a few ways to make gold with mission tables. You kind of have the material side of things and raw gold. With the use of his 45 tunes, he makes about 90,000 raw gold per day, and that is sending out missions twice a day. So, averages out, I believe the exact number he gave was in the 1800s, but I just rounded it up to about 2,000 to make it even, so that's about 90,000 gold per day. Now, he states and mentions as well that the materials is really server-dependent, for example, you know, if my callus hide is a lot more expensive on my server compared to your server, of course, I'm getting a lot more material value. But he says on average every single day, in addition to that raw gold, he makes anywhere between three to 6,000 gold worth of materials per character per day. So if we want to take that into account with 45 tunes on the low end with about 3K value per day, that is an additional 135,000 gold per day from mission tables. On the high end with that 6,000, that is about 270,000 gold in addition to that 90,000 raw gold that he makes from mission tables. The total, basically he makes anywhere between 225,000 to about 360,000 gold per day with his 45 tunes. Now, he will discuss this again in the interview, and he'll give us some more feedback, but I just wanted to kind of lay the facts out there to give you a little bit of a heads up of exactly what we're talking about. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this interview is helpful, and please show him some support for taking the time out of his day to speak with me. And, you know, definitely if you're looking at mission tables, go check out his guides. But here we go, and enjoy. Welcome, Zan. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to meet with me. But before we well, get into the actual questions, do you want to do a little bit of an introduction of yourself? Uh, I would think that uh, I don't need any introduction because I am obviously the most famous person. Oh, no, I, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, my name is Sansible. For the people that do not know me, uh, I do a bunch of gold making in, in a lot of the same areas that actually Penguin does. Um, but I like to also take things to the extreme in some situations. So diving very, very deeply into specific areas of gold making, which uh, I'm, I imagine we're going to talk about. <laughs> there we go. And you're exactly right. I know you've been doing a lot of stuff with mission tables lately. 
building up your alt army and all of that. And so, oh yeah, yeah. Before we get into the actual nitty gritty of that, do you just want to explain why you are kind of going the mission table route more than like crafting or farming? Well, um, it's not to say that I did I don't do anything else but mission tables, but I will say that it has been a quite a big focus of what I've done for a while. And the reason that I decided to do it in the first place was because, I mean, uh, a year ago, maybe, uh, maybe more, I was like, there is no way. I, I'm, I'm looking around on YouTube. I'm looking around on Reddit and nobody is talking about these mission tables. And I was just seeing there, there this has to, there has to be something here. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make a couple characters and I'm going to push this to the limit. And I did that on eight characters. And that was way back when, when the mission table and all the prices were much crazier. And at that point, I was like, okay, what if I just make a million characters, you know, and then just make this into a whole factory of gold making? And that's, that's, yeah. So one thing led to another, and then another thing led to another thing. And I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just following random paths. It's almost like I'm a rabbit going into a random hole, you know? Oh my goodness. Hoping for the best. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it's working out pretty well. And yeah. do you want to talk about exactly, like, how mission tables actually make gold? Well, mission tables by themselves obviously can't do anything. You have to put some effort into actually making the mission tables, upgrading them, making your characters ready to actually even use the mission tables. But, uh... If you guys have not been around and this is your first expansion, we've had a, some sort of a mission table since Wall of Draenor. And uh, the, basic, the basic explanation of a mission table is you have, you have a bunch of NPCs that you collect and you basically send them out on well quest or regular quest instead of you going out there to do them yourself. And it takes a certain amount of time just as a little small mini game in the game. And um, obviously the rewards that come out of it are, is something that you then receive after a certain amount of hours. And that obviously has changed multiple times. Also, the rewards has changed. But that's how it works. Okay, awesome. And I know it might be a little bit hard to say since, you know, different missions happen every single day and you get different awards. But with like the current setup you have now, and of course you can talk about the setup as well, you know, how much gold are you making daily? Well, with 9.2.5, a lot of markets, is, uh, especially in Shadowlands, have uh, tanked a little bit. Uh, a lot of the values on on certain material markets, you, you know, went down a lot because they buffed the drop rates and the amounts that dropped from a you know a whole slate of all these materials. So it is a little bit less, but uh, when I looked at it here uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, in in just raw gold, you can expect anywhere from you know seventeen hundred to two thousand gold in raw gold every single day when you have your mission table set up a little bit, and then additionally on top of that, there's obviously all the materials that you can get out of it, and there's the Augman runes, there's polished petrarms, there's reputation that you can obviously put towards a paragon chest. There is, uh, obviously, you get anima as well out of the mission table, which is self-sustaining. But, yeah, that's, like, where all the gold farms would come from. But I think in terms of an, uh, somewhat of an average, uh, depending on your server, of course, I would imagine it's gone down to probably 5,000 gold a day, I would say. And that's on, per on character, a, on an right? average. Yeah, that's per character every day. Okay, awesome. Um, and then, obviously, it depends on what people want to take from the mission table but that's if you push it close to the limit that's how much you can expect out of it now okay right? okay gotcha now i know you said that you have a ton of alts <laughs> yeah. but yeah. with yeah. the amount of alts you have which you can kind of go into that as well you know how long would it say that you put into mission tables per day well Right now, after setting up all of your mission tables, the amount of time that you actually have to spend on a mission table is very little. Um, obviously, depending on whether or not you have add-ons, uh, I, I obviously have an add-on, and if people want to know the name of that, it's called TLDR Missions. 
And uh, what that basically does is it does most of the work for you on the mission table, and you can set, collect missions and send out new missions in 30 seconds, 45 seconds. So you don't use much more than a minute per character once you get really good at knowing uh, what missions you want and setting up the rotation and getting used to it. And that's obviously if you have your characters at the mission table when you log in. Okay, yeah, so, so like very similar vibes to like the garrison, I would say. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's it's the exact same thing, pretty much. Yeah, the mission table is just a slightly different. different. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Now, we've talked about the mission tables a little bit. So, if somebody's interested in this kind of method, you know, who do you think should kind of get into mission tables? If there's like a category of people that you could talk about. Well, uh, the thing about mission tables, especially right now. Um, most people say we at least are not going to get Dragonfly until, who knows, March next year, April, something like that. So there's still a significant amount of time before we get the new expansion, which means that they're probably not going to do much else to the mission table before then. And uh, for anybody that has seen anything about mission tables before, they do take quite a while to actually level up, especially if you're completely new. Uh, once you're more into it, it can actually go faster. Um, and if, if I can explain the first part, which is if you're completely new, leveling a mission table from the ground up on a brand new character will take you months to get it maxed out. But you can get to a, I would say, a decent place at around, uh, obviously that is a little hard for the people that don't understand it, but um, it's at campaign level 11, which takes a little while. Um, so obviously this is one of the more grindy systems they, that definitely takes a while, especially to set up, but it's very rewarding at the far end when you're done setting it up. It's almost like leveling a profession and then finally selling some item that you spent a bunch of time on, or you got some new recipe that you farmed for weeks and didn't get, right? It's pretty much the same thing, okay, but the yeah. setup process of mission tables takes forever. It takes a long time. It does. Okay, well, that kind of leads into the next question. <laughs> um, how long would you say that it's taken to set up, like, your alt army? Well, I've done it in increments. So first I did 8, and then I did 20, and then I was like, you know what? I want to fill out my entire account with 50. And uh, here recently, a couple months ago, I was like, you know what? Let me buy 5 accounts and make 250 characters. Because, you know, I don't know. I, I have a screw loose. I'm insane. I, I don't know You're why. You're crazy. I, <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do these things to myself, um, but I made it all the way to 69, funnily enough, uh, 69 level 60 is so far. Um, but we also did, we, we got a little update from Blizzard or Ian, and he said they were not going to make a mission table in Dragonflight, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know why they all of a sudden decided to throw their, you know, uh, completely new command table that they made for Shadowlands and they updated the, the the phone app that they have and then they decide to just throw it out. But I guess it's similar to other things that happen in the game. But but I will say that those rewards that come out of the mission table are probably still going to... They're probably just going to be moved to, you know, daily quest, world quest, whatever it is, you know, some daily content. And I still think that alts are going to be great. There's been no expansion where... Um, having alts has been a bad thing, I would say. Yeah, I mean, even if they have some sort of, like, calling system, or just some sort of system that gives a pretty good amount of raw gold next expansion, you'll be able to utilize all those characters. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite crazy. Even right now, a lot of people don't realize how much raw gold we can actually get out of Shadowlands. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty insane, but it's just, it's more complex than it's ever been. Which I personally think that's a good thing because it obviously pushes a lot of butts away from it. Well, I know you've uh, done plenty of tutorials on your channel. And of course, I recommend everybody going to go over there if you want a full in-depth tutorial about all this mission table stuff. But, you know, let's say maybe not starting from this is your first level 60 or anything. But could you give like maybe a basic idea on like setting this up? Do you just, you know, go run missions or is there any like little yeah. special things you got to do? Um, Blizzard has done an absolutely terrible job at telling people how to uh, upgrade and make the mission table. They they don't lead you anywhere. It's uh, 
it's it's pretty bad. They don't even tell you what your progress is in the mission table, which is I think one of the reasons why a lot of people were turned off by it, right, and turned away from it. Uh, but now, now there's definitely, a, the, you know, me included and a bunch of other people that uh, have it. But as a baseline thing, I think because there isn't any real information in the game of how to set it up, I feel like it's pretty hard. Because there's not a lot of people that will go out of their way to search up a guide or look, uh, look at some video and, like, really put your back into it you know so i don't know it's not super hard because when when you when you watch some videos you read some <coughs> some guides i don't know <laughs> i would probably put it at a five right right in between okay. it's not very hard but it's all it's annoying it's more annoying than hard all right yeah so you I would say. you would recommend like if somebody actually wants to get into this you should probably do the guide thing first. Like you shouldn't really kind of you, you, YOLO you, into it. <laughs> no, because there are so many mistakes and I say it as mistakes. It's more like setbacks, right? Because yeah. there are a bunch of tricks that you can do nowadays with all the new patch upgrades and renown changes and all of that. And if you just randomly decide to go on a new character and start trying to figure out the mission table, you're 100% going to mess it up. Because Blizzard doesn't tell you how to properly do it. Yeah, so, and I, yeah. I can attest to that because I am like, I only do the mission table on my main. And so because it was my main, like I didn't have the trick about, you know, getting your troops automatically up leveled up by doing all the yeah, yeah. renowned stuff. So I definitely attest if anybody wants to do mission table, don't go into it blind. You probably can still do it blind, but it is going I mean, to take you, so much you time. You can, but it's just it's just much slower. That's really it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and I, I, the other little small thing that I would say is that it's better to have a lot of mission tables than one good one. Quantity is a lot better than quality for these mission tables because of how long they take to level up. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um. So I know you've kind of mentioned the like mission table app or the companion app. Now I know a lot of people use it just for like whenever they're on their phones away from the computer now do you recommend using this app or does it like you know kind of mess up with your min maxing or do you have any uh, thoughts about it i don't personally use it and that's because i don't need to uh i don't have a situation where i can't check the mission table multiple times a day um but it's also way slower because you can't use any add-ons so you need to fully understand how all the missions work and all how all your companions work and I suppose you could probably do it if you had a couple mission tables, you know, one, two, or three, maybe. But if you have 10, 20, 30, there, it's just, you know. I guess you can, but you'll run out of battery on your phone. <laughs> probably. It, right. I don't know. It's, it's not very, it's not super great. Stay away. It's not very great. <laughs> yeah. Stay away. All right. Well, is there any, like, special, I know we've kind of talked about a lot of different tips there. But is there any, like, special tips or bonus tips you want to highlight just for, like, quick reminders or anything? Uh, well, right now with 9.2.5, they actually upgraded the 40 renown token that you can buy at level 50. That now gives 60 renown, uh, which means that you can get more Wisps of Memory. And if you guys do not know what they are, they are uh, epic items that give 75,000 experience to a follower. Or a companion, whatever you want to call them, which are the NPCs in the mission table. And what you can do is you can go over to a covenant and you can say, oh, okay, I want 60 renown in this one. And you can say, okay, I want to swap over to another one and then do 60 renown again and 60 renown again and 60 renown again. And if you do that in all four, you'll start at level 50 with uh, 1,000 anima from each covenant. So you'll have 4,000 anima immediately. And, uh, I mean, it's also important to do that on any max level characters you have if you haven't been any of the other covenants. I feel like that's one good thing. Yeah, I know I have yet to do that myself, so I will be doing that it's, soon. I mean, it's pretty <laughs> important. You, you, and now you get some free mounts, too, some transmog. It's pretty great. Oh, yeah. That's a really yeah. nice upgrade. There's obviously the thing I talked about earlier with with leveling up one companion, but... That's that that goes in into the whole reading a guide because it's not super easy to explain in just audio. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. 
Well, is there any any additional information? Feel free to shout yourself out where people can find you, you know, any certain videos you want to highlight. Is there just any other information you'd like to share with everybody? Well, um, I made a playlist not here too long ago, a couple weeks ago, of all the mission table videos that I've ever done. And I've put them in a sequence that basically lets you go from the beginner stuff to the more intermediate stuff and then the end game stuff so that should help people out quite a lot and there's a lot of really insightful comments on a lot of the uh, on a lot of the videos as well so i would say that would be a place to go and that happens to exist over on on my youtube channel which is also just sensible it's very easy there we go perfect you're making it yeah. easy on us <laughs> yeah well thank you so much for taking your time to talk give us your well, mission table knowledge i appreciate you inviting me on awesome we'll talk to you later zan bye